Hello there. Today, as you can see, again, we're not loading and playing anything. In fact, what we're doing is we're opening this great big box, uh, which is about all you can see now, because I can't get it far enough away the cap from the camera to uh, show anything else. So yeah, I've been sent this by my friend uh, Kevin Galvain. Um, he uh, decided he wanted to uh, get rid of some of his stuff, and uh, he offered me these these things. <laughs> <laughs> these spectrum things for a very good price which I was quite happy to pay uh, I don't know roughly what's in here but he sent me pictures whilst I was in Spain and uh, to be honest as you know yourself uh, when you try and work out what what's the, the details of a picture when it's very bright it's very hard to see what's what so I just know there's a lot of games in here uh, and uh, yeah yeah let's let's get it opened up anyway uh, I've got my knife as usual, we're going to try to uh, open the box without any casualty. Um, yeah, let's let's get to it. Uh, I think we're going to be. I think we're going to be down here. Yeah, that looks good. I need to help if my blade was sharp. Really, ought to have changed it. Yeah, where's that got me? It's not very far, I don't think. Put down there. Oh. Yeah, right. Somewhere now. Right, what's we got? <laughs> I get giddy. Oh. Ah. Right, piece of cardboard. He's uh, he's definitely packaged this well. I may need to have a lay down by the time I've managed to open it. Right, I think we're in. I may have to put the box. <laughs> we're not in. <laughs> There's another box. I was just about to say I may have to put this on the ground. Uh, uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right. What have we got? We've got some cardboard. <laughs> and another box with fragile handle with care written on it and my address uh, I'll just I'll just get rid of that I don't want any stalker fans turning up <laughs> yeah. right we'll take that out and we'll, we'll get rid of that This way up, apparently. This way up. Right. We'll try again. Oh, oh, this looks more like it. I think we're nearly there. And I still have all my fingers. Yes, we're in. So what we have here is a big box. Don't want that. A big box. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move that to one side and get rid of the knife. Move it to one side like this. And then we'll have a look. Jesus. We'll have a look at the contents. Right. What we got? First of all, Oh, we've got a book. Spectrum Game. Games Master. A book. Terrific game routines and how to make them even better. <laughs> it's a programming book. I am useless at these. I used to try uh, copying these out. And uh, that must be an important page because it's been folded over. Yeah, even something simple like that, I'd get it wrong. I'd put a wrong number or word in or letter, and uh, yeah, none of these ever worked. But yeah, so we've got a book. So we'll put the books, we'll put the books there, and then we've got illustrating basic, a simple programming language by Donald Alcock. Uh, this again, this this might as well be German. 
uh, for me because I am rubbish <laughs> programming I remember this book. I got this with my uh, my first specky. Can't remember what's in it. Lots of stuff I never never really entertained to be honest. There she is, look. Yeah, my plus. I really need to get hold of one of them again just for the nostalgia, to be honest. I love my plus tools, but uh, it's always nice to have what you had, I think. Right, and now we get to it. Let's see what's in the box. First out of the box, classic in my opinion, Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter by Bally Midway, or at least the arcade machine was, I'm not sure. If they, no, it's US Gold. US Gold did the, uh, the game. Everybody's played this top-down proper arcade game. You know, you just you just pick it up and play. Uh, good fun. There's some of the others. Tapper, I remember, and I covered a long while back. Uh, don't remember Book Rogers. Uh, yeah, Spy Hunter in a clamshell. There you go. Look, there's a the tape. Spy Hunter, classic. Oh, I've not put it back in right. Right, I'm going to have to leave plenty of room because we might end up having to stack them up. <laughs> right, what's next? A game I've never played. Uh, a film I'm sure most of us remember. Short Circuit with the original 2 99 John Menzer's price tag on. I do like to see the price tags. You see, I'd have got this back in the day and just peeled that straight off. But now I, I, I do like to leave them in. Leave them on, sorry. It's one of the Hit Squad range, uh, so it's a re-release. Uh, I think some of these are quite rare now, uh, but they do look nice on the shelf. They're very colourful. Well, there you can see the graphics. You can if the camera's going to focus. There we go. Uh, apparently Amstrad Action liked it, and so did Crash. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to check that one out. It's like I said, it's a film I've watched many times, but I've never played the game. Uh, I'm going to have to try and not witter too much through these because there's loads. This could end up being an hour long video and you'll soon get bored. Uh, now this rings a bell. Sidearms. Sidearms. Is it a shooter? Yeah it is. I think I played this on the Amiga. I think. But I definitely remember the name. Yeah. Definitely looks interesting. Yeah I like the look of that. Don't remember this one. Chimera. Ah, 3D type thing. This camera's doing my facing. Keeps going out of focus. It looks like a 3D game. Apparently, there's an alien vessel is set to destroy Earth, and can you prevent it? Probably not, to be honest. Not me. Uh, I never save the maiden. I very rarely save ostriches. Uh, and the earth, if it's relying on me, is pretty much buggered. <laughs> Another one with a price tag on. Another one I do not remember. Jungle Warfare. Some interesting looking screenshots. Looks like a, looks like a bit like Operation Wolf type thing. Yeah, Operation Wolf Clown, maybe. <clears throat> a bulldog game. Jackie and Jackal and Wide. Not Jackie, Divvy. Jackal and Wide. Hmm. It's like a top down sort of thing. Maybe a gauntlet type game, maybe. I don't know. Dr. Jackal. Mm. Yeah. Don't know that one. You can't see that. I've gone too far. What have we got next? 
Nigel Mansell. Yeah, big fan. Big fan of Nigel Mansell. Although I don't ever remember playing this. Looks interesting. Yeah, these are screenshots. Be interested to see what it runs like. Oh, look forward to giving that a try. In my opinion, the best darts game ever. 180. Yeah, great fun. If you haven't played this on the spec, you're really missing a treat. Really simple game. Great fun. Great fun. Especially if you've got a mate. Even better fun. Yeah, it gets hard fast if you play against the computer. I, uh, I struggled with it, to be honest. Um, yeah, <laughs> my reactions aren't very good. Uh, Jeff Capes, another one with the sticker still on. Strong man. I wonder what we have to do in this. Probably one where you have to hammer the keys. Yeah. I'll put that there. Another Grand Prix game. Uh, and all that is in the corner. Johnny Dumfries. Johnny Dumfries. Mm. Yeah, Grand Prix Simulator. That looks a bit like a Super Sprint. I like this sort of thing. Yeah, I really do like the top down view races. Um, it's something I do tend to be quite good at. Another one from Boots for soccer. Not really a football fan on the spectrum. Never played this. Um, I don't think you can beat match day two. I think once you've played that, you're pretty much done, to be honest. No idea what this is. Kagara by Players. Camera's off on one again. Yeah, Kagara. Have a look at the screenshots. It's, uh, I don't know what it is still. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, don't know what that is. Apparently you have landed uh, at the, on the world Kagara. Your mission is to recover the magic chalice. Hmm. I'll probably fail at that as well. Uh -huh. A game that I'm sure needs no introduction. Great soundtrack on this game. Uh, screenshots are inside. It's it's one of those games, it's a multi-loader and you load each level in. So your car racing level, uh, there's a platform level and then there's like a 3D shooting level, which I could never do. <laughs> yeah, great game. Agent X, great budget title. Uh, great fun. And it's followed by a sequel that I haven't played. Agent X2. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same. It doesn't look like the sort of same thing. Actually, it looks more like a, a platform type thing. But I will definitely have to check that out. Because if it's half as good as Age of X, it'd be brilliant. <laughs> We're getting nowhere fast here. There's loads. I'm going to have to uh, speed up a bit. <laughs> Feud. Everyone knows Feud. Um, it's a game I already have in my collection. But to be honest, is one Feud enough? I'm not sure it is. Possibly. You need three or four. Who knows? And then, one of my favourite games. Trapdoor. Brilliant game. Looks awesome on the Spectrum. And, uh, got the price tag on there. £1.99. Well spent. If you've never played Trapdoor, play it. Stop watching this video this minute and go play Trapdoor instead. It's better than my video, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Love trapdoor. Knuckle Buster. Never heard of this one. And uh, screenshots are tiny. See if I can focus that in a bit better for you there. No, not really. Don't know what that is. I thought it were an American football type game, but it looks like a fighting platformer type thing. And that's an odd one. No screenshots on this one. 
it's a microgen title called Mad Martha. Supplied by Saturn Developments. Don't know anything about that. Feel free to tell me what it is. Um, it looks like one of the early Spectrum titles, which was uh, probably done at home, to be honest. Yeah. Don't know that one at all. Well, this is a classic, in my opinion. Kickstart 2 with Course Designer. This was great fun. One or two player, but especially two player. And then you could make your own courses, your own stunts, and uh, get your mates to race them. Yeah, yeah, brilliant fun. Uh, I think we'll go, we'll go like that. We've still got a long way to go. Yogi Bear, everyone knows Yogi Bear. He's your favourite bear. He was always stealing the picnic baskets. <laughs> yeah, I had this one back in the day. Uh, I think you have to get somewhere. And uh, every time you touch everything, you, you, you lose energy. It, it's one of them where you just run away, basically. Uh, World Games. Don't remember that one. Looks like another another one of those games where you hit the keys really hard. Let's put some more out. Ah, here we go. Another classic look from Boots. <laughs> Gartlet 2. Love Gartlet. I'm not sure if I had two. I remember having the Deeper Dungeons, which was uh, uh, like a data disc. or not data disc, data cassette, I suppose. Uh, but I'm not sure if I had Gauntlet 2. Super Scramble. Apparently there's a, a 100,000 giveaway. Buy one, get one free. And it looks like the giveaway is being used. Or maybe, maybe... The uh, owner of this cassette actually won the £100,000. <laughs> you never know. Looks similar to Kickstart 2, to be honest. Similar graphics. They'd be a bit bigger. MiG-29 at Soviet Fighter. Yeah, looks a bit like Afterburner. Not played this one. Yeah, afterburner type thing. A shooter. Classic in my opinion. I watched uh, Real Generic Demon play this last week. Silkworm. Yeah, I've only ever played this on the Amiga, but I did enjoy watching his video, to be honest. Uh, it looked a bit simpler, but still a, 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 a good shooter. Yeah. Yeah, enjoyed that. And I'm looking forward to playing it. Now here's a game I've watched a lot of people play and heard a lot of discussions about, but I've never played it. I'm not sure. We just have a look inside. No, there's no loading. There's no there's no pictures apart from that one at the front. Yeah. Never played it. But I will be soon. Ah now this rings a bell. Universal hero. Ah, there is screenshots, look. Screenshots inside. I remember this, but I can't remember a lot about it. Mm. I'm sure it'll ring a bell when I fire it up. Yeah, Universal Hero. Kickboxing. Yeah, I don't think that'll be up to much, to be honest. Fighting games very rarely were on the specy, unfortunately. Yeah. What's next? Next we've got a bit of Samurai Trilogy. Don't remember this one. That looks like a fighter. One on one. Yeah. Don't remember this one. Followed by Sports Hero. And this is probably another button basher. You know, where you have to build the power bar to build your speed up by hitting keys and then at the last minute hitting another key to get your jump or your run or whatever just right. I was never very good at them. You need good reflexes. <laughs> I have none. Buccaneer. That looks interesting. Don't remember that one either. That looks like a, like a scrolling shooter. Side on scrolling shooter. Not what I thought it was going to be. 
A challenging arcade game in the classic style. Shoot or be shot. Mm. Well, I don't want shooting, so I will have to shoot. Spy versus Spy 3. Now, I loved the Mad Comics. I thought they were great. And I remember getting one of the early Spy games. It might have even been Spy vs. Spy. It, it wasn't this one. But I could never figure it out. So it'll be interesting to go back to that as an adult and actually see if I can do it now. You basically, as I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, you basically have to get the other spy, kill him or capture him or whatever. Uh, I could never do it, but yeah, definitely be trying that one. Mad Nurse, another one I've never heard of. Mad Nurse. I all that nice, nice screenshots. Apparently, Nina, Night Nurse, and the girls need help to keep the babies under control. Absolute mayhem. Sounds like they're looking after my granddaughter, to be honest, because she's here today and I'm hiding down here. <laughs> and she's not old enough to come and get me yet. I remember this one. Night time. Mad games. Yeah, I think nearly everybody played one of these. Is it Spellbound? This is the third in the series, apparently. Featuring Magic Knight. Apparently, it's trapped in the 25th century this time. Hmm. Yeah, I've probably played it. I know I've played a lot of them. Be interesting to cover one again, actually, because I haven't covered any of them yet. So, Suivo's World. Oh, that rings a bell also. It's a 3D game. It's not, it's not what I was thinking then. I certainly remember the title. I'm thinking of something else. Everyone's heard of Ollie and Lisa. Great fun. Great fun game. Now I actually quite liked this. On the specy, Street Fighter, with the original books label. I didn't think it was that bad. They're not. They're not the Spectrum shots. Don't be fooled. They tried to fool us when we were kids, but don't we all be fooled now? No, they're not Spectrum shots. It was uh, monochrome graphics for the Spectrum all the way. On Street Fighter, as I remember. What we got next? Video Olympics. Any screenshots? Yeah, a few inside. Another button basher. Cauldron 2. A game I've never played. And I know I know it's not like Cauldron. I think you control like a like a ball thing. Like a bouncy ball. Uh whereas in the first cauldron you was in he was the witch on the uh, on the broomstick. Yeah, never played that. Always wanted to. Um, definitely have to fire that one up. Well, I have to fire them all up, to be honest. It just takes time uh, to work through them all. Oh, you can't see that there. Uh, where am I going to go now? I think we'll, do. we'll go. We'll go up. We'll go up and we'll see if we can stack them all up without uh, throwing them all over. Ah, Tetris on the Spectrum. Never played it on the Specky. I, uh, I doubt they'll be the screenshots. Screenshots may t be taken from a different version. <laughs> I think they are. Yeah, far too colourful. Stretching. I remember this. ATF, Advanced Tactical Fighter. And I liked this. They're not the Spectrum screenshots either. You had to like, you had to pick your targets and, and go take them out. And you, I think you could, you could uh, refuel and do all sorts. Yeah, really fun game. There's more. Don't think, don't think we're done yet. <laughs> what we got next? 
a game I genuinely didn't know ever came out on the Spectrum. River Raid. I watched. I watched George play this on the uh, Atari, uh, and I don't have an Atari uh, yet, and uh, I've always fancied playing that, so I can play it on the Specky. Um, I would like to play it on the Atari, but I can't, so I haven't got one. <sighs> Night Raider. Yeah. Don't remember this one. Looks like a. A boat type thing, boat simulator. I thought it'd be a playing game, but unless unless we're flying towards the boat, I'm not sure. Looks interesting. Oh, it's all gonna end in tears. Don't remember this one either. Phantoms. No, it doesn't say phantoms. Fan Phantomas. Phantomas? Correct me. I'm probably saying it wrong as usual. Apparently he's a robber. And we have to help him find the treasure and avoid the dangers. Yeah, it looks like a, a run-of-the-mill platformer. But some of these were really good fun. Some weren't. <sighs> ah. Look at that. Thundercats. You used to love the cartoon. Thundercats. Ho! Oh! <laughs> Apparently it's game of the month. Spectrum screenshots are there on the right. I watched somebody play this recently. I can't remember who. But I said when I watched his video, video, sorry, that it reminded me of another game. And I can't remember what that was either. <laughs> I am rubbish. My memory is absolutely pants. Chess. I can honestly say... I won't be trying that one. <laughs> Can't play chess. Can't play chess. Ah, Salamander. I think this is a shooter. Yes, it is. Mm, that looks good. Yeah, I don't think they'll be the specky shots, but yeah, fancy playing that. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go there with that. Joe Blade Three. I think I've played one of the Joe Blades. But I, I couldn't tell you which one. Looks interesting. Yeah, I think it's a platform shooty thing. Ah, oh, now this was good fun. Ski Simulator. I watched Baz play this a while back. Might have been over a year back now. Really always liked the graphics on this one. Let's look at the price tag on as well. As I said, I love to see the price tags. Yeah, I really liked the graphics. It was quite easy to get really stuck. Um, but good fun, yeah. Definitely worth playing. I used to play this back in the day. World class leaderboard. Decent golf game as I remember. Although I might be wrong. <laughs> it's got a good score anyway. Who's, it's, who's going to nick the score? You're Sinclair so it, it's probably rubbish. Because <laughs> I found out that they just lie. Lied about all the scores. This is a classic in my opinion. I really need to get round to playing the other games in the series. I think there was three more but I think only two got released uh, I don't know why but I've just always loved this and used to be able to complete it although when I covered it I didn't because I'd forgotten something <laughs> but yeah really good game definitely worth giving a go if you've not played it yeah yeah there we go and Bronx Street Bronx sorry Bronx Street Cop uh Looks like a target type game, like a police version of Operation Wolf, possibly. Don't recall that one either. Another Formula One game. Formula One Simulator. Uh, screenshots. Yeah. Screenshot there for you. Looks a bit like uh, Checkered Flag. Not that that's a bad thing, because Check Your Flag is a great game. I'll put that there. Followed by another simulator, ATV. Uh, I was always rubbish at this. <laughs> Used to find it very tricky. Uh, really tight with the time on this one. 
as I remember. But this is this is all from memory because if I haven't played them recently, uh, I'm just guessing to be honest. Super Stump Man. I think I picked this up recently, but still haven't got round to playing it. It does look very like uh, Spy Hunter, to be honest. But that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Another one I've never heard of. And which I wouldn't like to say after a few drinks. Kentilla. Kentilla. It looks like a bit of a, a text text game. Text adventure. Yeah, it looks like a text adventure. Never heard of that one. Right. Dare I go even higher. There's more to go. next Dan Dare Dan Dare I remember these very colourful looking games uh, um, very good graf graphics and uh, loading screens as I remember uh, don't remember much about the game can't remember if it was all all show <laughs> another classic back to school I'm dead chuffed to get that because I think uh, there's no no screenshots I'm fairly sure, certain I've got school days, so now now I've got both, which is good because uh, my OCD means I always want to have everything of anything. <laughs> Advanced Pinball Simulator. Uh, I remember playing this back in the day. Can't remember if it's any good. But it looks quite interesting on the screenshots. Bit of Steve Davis snooker. Looks a lot younger there. There we go. I'd have probably spent a lot of time playing that back in the day. Oriental Hero. There's screenshots look. Looks like a like a side on fighting game. One of those. I'm trying to think of the name now. Where you kill a baddie and then you walk on to find the next one. What's it called? Somebody tell me. Ah, Ikari Warriors. Yeah, I've got, this is on my list to cover this. Uh, I watched Mark Hope play it. I can't remember if it was the Spectrum version or the 64 he played. But, uh, yeah, I fancied a crack at this. I haven't got round to it yet. Now I've got the tape. Love this. BMX Simulator. That is £1.99 well spent. Great fun. Good graphics. Uh, great two-player game. You cannot go wrong with that. Honestly. <coughs> Another really good game in my opinion. That I had back in the day. Rolling Thunder. They're not Spectrum graphics. Yeah, As I remember, you had to finish it twice to complete the game. When you got to the end the first time, you had to kill the baddie. Then start again and it was slightly harder. And I remember finishing it the first time, but never getting all the way back the second time. Definitely one to cover in the future. Pro Mountain Bike Simulator. Don't remember that. Don't remember that. At all. Mm. Yeah, really running out of room there. Really running out of room. Two more little tapes and then we're on to the big boxes. <laughs> Lap of the Gods. And that rings a bell. But I can't remember anything about it. That's some screenshots, if you can see. Doesn't really doesn't really tell you anything about the game. Apparently we are trapped in a comet's time vortex and only the eight gods of Zan can return you to the future. Mm. Sounds like we're buggered then because I'll just fail. <laughs> Finally, for the small boxes, who dares wins two. Uh, I played this a while back. Uh, I've been told it was better than Commando. In my opinion, it's not. It's good, but it's not as good as Commando. 
So that's it for the small boxes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spin the camera around slightly uh, because we've run out of room. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, there we go. There, I think we'll manage, we'll manage at that. Yeah, I'm sorry if any of you get, anybody out there is getting motion sickness. But the uh, best I can do. <clears throat> Kick off two. Remember playing this a lot on the Amiga. Uh, never played the Spectrum version. So I'll be interested to play that. See how it plays on the Specky. Yeah. A game I got a while back off Baz Harding. Uh, that I've not got round to playing. As with so many of these. Uh, they're, they're really queuing up. I really need to get my bombing gear. And have a day on the Specky. So apparently this has... a uh, construction set so you can make your own levels which uh, sounds interesting never played Marble Madness now this was a good game deflector it's a uh, it's a puzzle type game you have to you have to deflect the beam I'm pretty sure everybody's played defector deflector sorry uh, you had to you had to get the the beam from wherever it comes in to the exit we had to it in something else yeah, really good fun. I like that one. Arcade Classic Operation Wolf. I covered a while ago. Very badly. Didn't do very well at all. They are the Spectrum screenshots. When it focuses in. Yeah. Uh, great fun, but really hard. <laughs> Apparently this one came from... Oh. oh. Box is damaged on this one, unfortunately. This one came from uh, Littlewoods, kind of. A, a game I covered a while back. Uh, and the reason I covered it was for the graphics. And you can see there, all the colours. And uh, there's no there's no blurring or mashing in. It was really, really clever. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that there, because I think if I, if I lay it on top of another, it will fall down. Uh, I remember this one being in magazines a lot. Ninja Hamster. Uh, it was supposed to be so much special, but I'm pretty sure it's not very good. It's not very good. But uh, great artwork. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah, Ninja Hamster. Let's pull some more out. Great arcade racer, this. Road Blasters. Yeah. Really like this one. Obviously, the spectrum shots the bottom, uh, the top left. Sorry. Yeah, you're basically just driving into the horizon, and shoot and dodge anything that looks twice at you, and you get pickups and lasers and all sorts. Great fun. And this is a classic. Uh, really happy to have this on the spectrum. I covered it a while ago. Um, these are the Amiga screenshots. I mean, it's a classic on the Amiga. But it really is worth checking out on the Spectrum because it's, it's amazing that they've got it running at all. Yeah, brilliant game. Brilliant fun. On any system. Cybernoid. I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, it is. It's a shooter. Yeah, I remember getting the demo of this. I don't think I ever had the game. Yeah, I'm dead chuffed to have that. I remember it being very, very hard. Uh, but I think it's... Definitely worth playing. Classic Gauntlet. Just just brilliant fun. Brilliant fun in the on any system to be honest. Hope you're playing this on is is just gonna put a smile on your face. Especially if there's a couple of you. Yeah. Great fun. Now this is a game I put a lot of time in on the arcade. Um Unfortunately, most of the home versions, they're a bit sluggy. I've never played it on the Spectrum. I've played it on the Mega Drive, and it's, it's woeful. I can't imagine it being much good, but it'll be interesting to just give it a go. Uh, I remember this. Express Raider, but I can't remember a lot about it. I can't remember... It's, I think it must be, it's dated East and US Gold, so I think it was an arcade game. There's certainly not Spectrum screenshots. Yeah, 
does look interesting. What we got left? There's more. Not that, not too many, not too many more. Maybe about another ten minutes worth. Now oh, this is nice. I didn't know this came out on the uh, the Spectrum. I played this a lot on the Amiga, North and South. You basically pick your side, North and South, and uh, you have to take on his armies. See there, look, and win, win the map basically. Yeah, great fun on the uh, Amiga. I can't say what it's like on the Spectrum, but I imagine it plays very, very similar. Oh, I'm, I've missed this. I found this in the bottom. Two pack here, Ace and Ace Two. Two for the price of one. Uh, specky shot. <laughs> they've just shown. They've just shown a loading screen on Spectrum version. They haven't shown any graphics, which is a shame. I think. I think I've played one of them. Apparently, it's flight similar. Fight Simulator of the Year. Zap say anyway. <clears throat> All we got left. All we got left. We've got Target Renegade, but I think I think at some point um, the box has gone missing. So someone has uh, has made a box for the uh, the original the original tape. Which is interesting. <laughs> They've pulled a piece out of uh, your Sinclair or Crash and made their own cover. There you go, look, Target Renegade. <laughs> yeah, that bust the box. There we go, Target Renegade. What have we got next? Cardboard box is next. I don't remember this. Or do I? Toyota Celica GT Rally by Gremlin. No, don't remember that at all. I'm going to put these. Just going to bob them. I'm going to bob them there like that. Trivial Pursuit. Never played the board game. Never played it on any of the computers. All complete with a manual and what looks like the original Boots price sticker. Yeah. Doesn't look like the manual's ever been out, to be honest. It's pristine. I'll pop that there. Great game. Look at that. Barbarian, the ultimate warrior. I think that was... Uh, Oh, what's his name now? Wolf. I don't know his real name. He was Wolf on the uh, on that show. On that show where they all knocked themselves, knocked knocked normal people about. And that's uh, a page three lady from back in the day, whose name I've also forgotten. And there she is on the back. Look with a big sword. <laughs> this is a great game. Great game. I'm gutted. <laughs> the poster's gone. That was going straight on the wall. Uh, yeah. yeah, it says on the front, free poster. I've been done. <laughs> yeah. I nearly had a name then. Oh, it's killing me. No. Oh. Game Set and Match 2. It's a compilation of uh, sports games. There you go. Look, super hang on. Great game. Uh, don't know any of those other others. And on this side, you've got Steve Davis Snooker, which we looked at earlier. Championship Sprint, which is a classic. And Match Day 2, another classic. So I don't know any others, but there's a lot of good games in there. And it did feel quite heavy. Yeah, there's all the tapes and a, a C90. A mystery C90 for some reason. And the instructions, which tend to go missing in these big boxes. So, yeah, dead happy to get that. Ah, now this is a big box version of a game we were looking at earlier. That's a really nice uh, this front cover. So, it's Night Raider. Ah, it's, it's, it's easy to see now because we've got bigger spots. Bigger uh, spots. Bigger pictures. So, yeah, it's a plane simulator in which we have to... Uh, Boats and stuff. 
Yeah, never played that. Well, this feels heavy. Tank attack. Tank attack. It looks like a strategy game. So that weight will be a 9 billion page manual. No, it's not. It comes. I've never seen how like this. I'll have to show you. Oh, it comes with a board game. Who's seen how like that before? Definitely not me. Yeah, it's got inside the box. Let me see if I can fold this out without damaging it. Inside the box, it's got the full board. So as well as the Spectrum game, you have all your tank pieces. And your tape. And a very nice glossy mint game instructions thing. To tell you how to play the game, I presume. And the board game to boot. Wow, that is just a box full of loveliness. Yeah, I love that. So when I'm tired of losing at the, uh, the Spectrum game, I can play this with my son and lose at the board game too. That's just brilliant. No wonder it weighed so much. Total Eclipse. This is one of them uh, 3D games. Yeah, I do like 3D on the Spectrum. I don't know what you do though. I think it's an exploration game. Oh, in here, we have the poster. But there's no uh, semi-naked women with swords, so I'm not as impressed as I would have been if uh, Barbarian 2 had had the poster in. But still, it's nice. It's nice to get them complete. I'll just bob that back in there. And I'll put that there. What we got next? We're nearly done. <laughs> Anyone still watching? We are nearly done. Five minutes. This is my longest video ever. <laughs> Double Dragon 2. The Revenge. I haven't played any Double Dragon games on the Spectrum yet. But I seem to remember they weren't, they weren't as good as Renegade. But they were still worth playing. Uh, it's a bit squashed that one. But I will try it at a later date to straighten it out. Operation Thunderbolt. Which is the follow up to Operation Wolf. As I remember in the arcade, the difference was, as well as no graphics, you had two guns you could play two-player. I don't know if you could play the Spectrum game two-player also. Championship Football. Looks a bit like Kickoff 2. Or Kickoff even. Or Sensible Soccer. It's that kind of viewpoint. And a big box of Vulcan, the Tunisian, <laughs> I had to dig then, Tunisian campaign. I was going to say Tsunami. <laughs> no screenshots. But a very nice, uh, very nice manual. Very nice manual. All inside. That we'll probably spend about 18 weeks reading to try and figure out what to do. And then finally is a game I very nearly bought a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't need to because it's in this box. Is The Hobbit. Bit of a weird one this. Now, whenever I see it online, it's exactly the same as this. The, the, the outside box is just a black box. And everything's inside, the instructions. I don't know if there's an outer sleeve that's supposed to go over the top. But yeah, this is a text adventure that I've, I've never played. I played Lord of the Rings, but never played The Hobbit. And, uh, and then finally, 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 there's uh, a couple of lo loose tapes, or tapes without uh, the covers. Stainless steel, which I don't know. Uh, the Abyss, or Abyss, never heard of. There's Commando, but that looks like a printed label to me. It's like somebody's 
cut it out somewhere because they've lost the uh, the original one and something called Antaru and Dungeon Dare games I've never heard of so that's my huge box of tapes sent to me by Kevin and I'm sure I've said your last name wrong because I always do I really struggle with last names so I apologize if I have but I'll say it again Galvain Kevin Galvain sent me all these and I am very grateful so I just pull the camera back and I swivel around you got all the uh, singles there and all the uh, big boxes there yeah very grateful for these as ever with one of these videos if anyone's stuck with it thank you it is a long one this will take some uploading uh, if you've any questions about any games or if you remember any of the ones that I didn't please do comment uh, if there's any you'd like to see played I will get to them eventually all of them but if there's any you'd like to see in particular please do mention um, thanks for watching those who did <laughs> great thank you for sticking through this it's nearly an hour now um, please do comment about the games any that you remember uh, any that you enjoyed any that you didn't uh, yeah please like comment subscribe and all that whatnot. And and that's it Catch you later. Bye-bye.